Hello, and welcome to another episode of Develop with WP, a show where I try to teach other developers more about WordPress. Today's video is the third video in a series that we're doing on working with the WordPress media modal media upload library thing. <laughs> uh, it's this thing, you know, this thing. So we've created, a, up to this point, we've created a custom image uploader, which you can see working here, where we can add images uh, and remove images and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but what we haven't done is actually get those images to save here uh, once we've saved a post. So if once we hit update, our images currently at this stage in development are not visible when the page loads. So in this video, we're gonna take care of that. So what we're gonna do to fix this uh, is we're going to use WP localized script, uh, which is a function that allows you to pass information from WordPress uh, to JavaScript. And what it essentially does is creates a global uh, a global variable uh, in the global scope of your JavaScript for WordPress that allows you to pass data. Uh, and I and I again in the plugin series, I refer to this plugin series a lot. Uh, it has a ton of information. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Um, but I talk about this function in there, but we're going to do WP localized script uh, and we're going to use it for this script. That's the first thing. Tell it which, which JavaScript file, you know, needs to reference this thing. Then we're going to give it a name. Um, what am I going to call it? So this is going to be the variable, the JavaScript variable uh, that we're going to see um, in a minute. So we're gonna go custom uploads, custom uploads. Then we're gonna pass in an array of information. And what we're gonna pass it is, uh, we're gonna call it image data. And it's going to be equal to, so really what you do with localized script is you create an associative array of information. So I'm saying like the you know, variable image data is going to equal this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say get post meta, which is WordPress's way of pinging the database um, to get some meta. And we're going to get the stuff that we saved. So if you look down here, we saved this as custom image data. And that's what we want to look for. We're going to set it to true. All right, that's not where I need my semicolon. That's where I need my semicolon. Why are you like that? Undefined, oh. Quotes, we need some quotes. All right. So now, if we go in here and we refresh our page, uh, nothing happens, but if we go and inspect, and we go to the console and we type in, type in custom uploads, you can already see it there. Um, we can see that it's an object that has a property called image data, which is what we called it. And it has our, hey, look, it has our ID of 32 and our uh, URL, which if we look in here is the same thing, right? It's our, it's our data. So that's what we've done. We've now passed our data from WordPress into a JavaScript object that we can now use. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to create... Uh, yet another event in JavaScript. So we'll go over here and we'll go, uh, pretty much what we want to do is we want to, we want to get the, uh, the, the on load uh, event. So like when the page loads, when that event fires, we want to set some basic stuff. For example, when this page loads, we want it to check to see if we have something. And if we do, make us an image here, you know? I mean, how hard is that? So we'll go window dot add event listener and we're going to use the there's a couple of them i'm just going to use this one dom content loaded if you if you're used to jquery this is kind of like the on ready type thing um, we're making a function and what we want to do um just real quickly, just to kind of show this, I'm just going to go image dot set attribute uh, source. This should look pretty familiar. And but the difference is, is that we're going to set the source equal to the custom that uh, 
custom uploads dot image data dot source is what it's called. All right, so what we're doing, we're saying we want this to equal uh, custom uploads image data source, which is the URL. And then we want to go hidden dot set attribute value value oh quotes come on value and that's going to be equal to this thing as well but um, ID oh actually no we just want to set it to the image data no we still need to do the same thing we did up here we need to go JSON dot stringify and just pass in the data right if you remember we created an array with an object inside of it and that's really what we want to do again so we're gonna go array uh, array and then pass it in boom image data um, let's see what that looks like yay there's our image it's humongous um, that's just because we didn't set the size we're gonna make this look better later but for now yay it works so cool all right so this works um, and you would think we are done but you'll see that there's actually still some bugs um, for example, if we remove the image and we update it, you see that we get a broken image, um, which is no bueno. We don't want that. You'll also see that if we go to a new page, there's a broken image. So there's some issues here that are happening. Uh, and really what it revolves around primarily is the way that we've done this initial loading right here. Uh, we don't have any checks. It's, it tries to set the source of the image, whether or not there is anything. For example, if we look here uh, in the console, yeah, like 404, right? It's trying to find an image of undefined. <laughs> um, oh, but uh, yeah, if we look at uh, custom uploads, we'll see that it's just uh, empty quotes, and that just won't do. So we need to take care of that. Uh, you'll notice that the add and but remove buttons are there at all times and we really want to make that change We really only want to show the corresponding button that really needs to be there So we're going to take care of all of that Crank it up.